Hey GBHS, it's Mrs. Lehue from the library. Today I'm coming at you with my weekly top three books. This week my theme is killer thrillers. Books that might be about a murder investigation or some kind of mysterious happenings. Books that are going to keep you flipping the pages until the very end. So in my personal reading life, I enjoy reading a lot of genres of books. Um, but I find myself going through cycles where, you know, for a few months I like to read one and before I switch to another, before kind of repeating the whole process again. And right now I'm really hooked on thrillers. Um, so in this latest arrival of new books, some really great thrillers arrived and I cannot wait to share them with you. So let's jump right in. My number three pick is The Last Witness by Claire McFall. In this story, Heather agrees to go camping with Dougie and his friends. Um, Heather has a thing for Dougie, and so she's desperate to get closer to him. And a secluded beach sounds like the perfect place to do just that. But the beach holds a lot of secrets, ones that should be kept buried. And the group while they're out there uncovers something that they shouldn't have which makes the trip take a really sinister turn. Um, and it brings Heather's plans to a really violent end. One by one, Heather's friends are vanishing. So this story kind of alternates between the present and what's happening with Heather and her friends and their disappearances. And it will jump forward to one year in the future. So a year later, um, Heather's kind of realizing, you know, she's really lucky to be alive. Um, you know, she survived, but being the last one standing has some pretty significant legal consequences. People are asking her a lot of questions and she doesn't really have great answers. Um, so she really needs to figure it out quickly or they're going to start pointing the finger at her and make her take the blame for the disappearances. This novel crosses into the supernatural. So if you are a fan of fantasy and horror, then give this killer thriller a chance. The Last Witness by Claire McFall. My second choice for us this week is Watched by Marina Budos. Watched is all about Naeem. Naeem is a Bangladeshi teenager living in Queens, an area in New York City. He can charm his way through anything, but eventually his mistakes catch up with him, and so do the cops. And the cops offer him a pretty impossible choice. Should he spy on his Muslim neighbors and report any shady business that he sees, or does he in turn accept um, charges and start his own police record. Well, Naeem has a desire to be a hero. He wants to be a protector. Um, so the cops kind of play on that um, aspect of his personality and he does agree to surveilling his neighbors. He wants his parents to be proud of him. Um, but as time goes on, the line between informing and entrapment is really starting to blur. And Naeem is starting to think, am I saving or betraying my friends and the community around me? When Marina Budos wrote this book, she was inspired by the surveillance practices in New York City and other larger cities in our country. Uh, this novel starts to examine you know, what it's like to grow up with Big Brother or, you know, the government kind of watching you all the time. Naeem's story is pretty short, but it will capture your attention and the vivid details will keep you turning the pages until you reach the end. And that makes Watched by Marina Budos my second choice and a very quick and enjoyable read for you. All right, GBHS, my number one pick for you this week is People Like Us by Dana Mele. Um, Kay Donovan, the main character in the story, has some skeletons in her closet, some secrets that she doesn't want to anyone else to know. But the past is the past, 
and she's reinventing herself entirely. She started at a new school. She's going to make new friends. She's now a star soccer player. And these friends that she's making are in the popular crowd. And they run the school with their um, effortless popularity and wit. But when a girl's body is found in the lake, Kay's carefully constructed life begins to crumble before her eyes. In a weird twist, the dead girl left Kay a computer-coded scavenger hunt. And as it unravels, it begins to implicate suspect after suspect until Kay herself is found in the crosshairs of the murder investigation. But if Kay is backed into a corner, she's going to do whatever it takes to survive because she knows that at Bates Academy, the truth is something you make. It's not something that actually happened. So as I was reading about this novel and skimming through it, it really gave me some total like Pretty Little Liars and Gossip Girl vibes. Um, it also reminded me of Karen McManus's book, One of Us is Lying. So if you enjoy reading novels with drama and suspense and you want to solve the puzzle of what actually happened to the murder victim, then this is totally the book for you. People Like Us by Dana Mele. All right, GBHS, that's my top three for the week. If you like something that you've seen, stop by the library to pick up a copy or fill out the book hub order form online and one of my aides will bring it directly to you. If thrillers are not your thing, don't worry, I got you. You can fill out the second part of the book hub order form closer to the bottom where it asks about your interests and the length of the books that you think you'd like to read right now and I will pick out something awesome for you. Be sure to follow us at GBHS 428 Library on Instagram for more book-related awesomeness. Happy reading and have a great day.